Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kyra Sean. Welcome back to another edition of Beauty Monday. So I wanted to show you guys how I did this eye look today. Um, this look was inspired by a photo that was sent to me off of Instagram by my friend Tanika. This is what the original picture looks like. Um, I didn't follow this obviously to the T, um, but I did kind of get inspired by the actual, like the sparkle of the eye. And I kind of wanted to do a cut crease as well. So I did a minimal cut crease with a little sparkle and I kept it to, you know, my level of expertise. <laughs> um, and I think it came out really pretty. So if you guys want to see how I got this look or want to try it for yourself, make sure you stay tuned. So I will be doing a talk through in this video. It was just too much going on in my house with us packing up the house where I'm moving everything for me to actually talk while I was doing the makeup. So again, this will be a talk through and um, that'll be it. Don't forget, don't put that in your mouth, baby. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not already. Also hit that notification bell because you're not going to want to miss anything that's going on, on this channel. And um, I will see you guys next time. All right, let's go. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and get into this look. We are using the 35M Boss Mood Palette once again. You guys know I love this palette. So we're going to keep on rocking with it until it is gone. I already did my other eye off camera to save some time. And I already did my eyebrows and my concealer. So let's go ahead and start with this look. The first color I'm going to use is a burgundy shade. It is um, the FOTD color, um, aka face of the day. So we're going to put that in my crease and above my crease in a patting motion. And then swipe that from side to side to blend the color out. And I'm going to tell y'all now, I'm not cutting out or jump screening any of this blending action because I want you guys to see the work that I have been putting in and getting my eye looks to a different level, aka a better level. So again, just using the swiping motion and then a swirly motion on the outside of my eye to blend out those harsh lines. I'm going to go in again with a second pass so again more color more padding and more swiping if this is boring to you I'm sorry you can fast forward but I want to show you guys all the work that I do to get these eye colors um, to show up on my skin especially when I do not have a lighter concealer to kind of brighten those looks up so blending, I am learning, is very, very important. And here we are again with another pack <laughs> and pass of color. So you guys see I've been using tape a lot to get my eye looks to be more defined. And I actually really like the tape. The concealer method works too. You guys have seen me use that on this channel. Um, I just feel like the tape is a little bit easier. And it makes me not have to go back and correct later on with the concealer. So it does save a little bit of time. I think we're going to go in with a different color now. Yep, we sure are. So now we're going to go in with a dark brown color, a.k.a. Sparks Fly. And we're going to put that on the outside um, corner V of my eye. Patting that in as well. Scrolling it around and blending that into my actual crease area. We're using the exact same motions we used with FOTD. We're just doing it with a different shade now. The whole point of this step is to blend those colors, uh, not blend, but meld those colors together without losing the shades of each color. So making it a seamless blend. So this is why it takes so long to blend out eyeshadows because you have to do steps like this. I honestly think initially, y'all, I was not really caring if my eyeshadows were blended that well. But now I'm just like, it does make a difference in how your eye look can come out. So I've been being more patient and blending out my eyeshadows and taking the time to actually do it. So this is why y'all get to see it today. Okay. 
Now I'm going back in with FOTD and I'm just going to blend out those edges to be sure not to take away the Sparks Fly color, but I don't want to have any harsh lines. So that's why I'm going back in with no product on the brush, using just the same brush to clean up those edges. And now I'm back patting in more Sparks Fly on that outer V of my eye. Yep, we're still here and we're still blending. If you left us, welcome back. <laughs> I gotta check out my work while I'm doing it to make sure it looks okay to me and then I'm pretty sure we're moving on now to some cut crease action yes we are so you guys I got this brush from Michaels it is a paint brush it was two dollars in the paint section and I'm just like have I really been spending five dollars on crease brush brushes and I have a two dollar brush right in my craft store and this brush is bomb. I love the bristles on this brush. I love how flat the brush can get. I love how long the bristles are so I don't gotta reach and like get extra product on my brush or like all over my lid where I don't need it. This brush is bomb. I don't remember the brand of it, um, but I know it is a number 10 brush, so. And before any of you guys make any comments or try to clock me or, you know, talk under your breath, yes, my <laughs> cut crease is going to end up a little lower on this eye than it did on my previous eye, only because of how I'm looking in the mirror. Even when I double checked it, it didn't look off. Um, I really didn't know th that it was uneven until I looked at pictures and was like oh man that's uneven because to me at this point it looks even so for future reference I'm probably going to take a picture of my cut crease while I'm doing it to make sure that they are even because an uneven cut crease can throw off your look surprisingly it didn't throw this one off too much so we're just going to go ahead and keep it moving And I know y'all probably sound like death. My voice sounds really deep right now, in my opinion. Um, it's early. I'm doing this voiceover because last night the babies were not having it as far as me talking through my videos. So here we are. All right, now we're gonna go in with Hot Stuff. Um, it's a shimmer shade from the palette. And we're gonna place that all over my lid using the infamous Packer Brush, <laughs> you guys. I don't even know what this brush is called, but you guys know I love to call it the Packer Brush. So that's what we're going to use all over our lid. And then we're going to go back in with a skinny, small brush and kind of get the color as close to the cut crease as possible. And there is the small brush. I'm pretty sure I got this brush from Christmas last year. I think it was in like a secret Santa that someone gave me. Maybe it was my, was it my husband or my sister? Maybe it was my mom. Someone gave me a secret Santa gift and it was some brushes and this brush was in it from Amazon super cute brush all right now I think it's time for some shimmer yes it is so this palette is from fluttered by row I found her on Instagram oh I'm showing it again yep I don't all right so in case you didn't see it the first time here it is again 
I'm going to be using that goldish silver shimmer as well as the dark brown um, shimmer or uh, pressed glitters to put all over my lid. The thing that I love about this little glitter palette is that I don't have to use extra um, products with it. I just go in with my brush and put it directly on the areas that I want to put it on. I don't got to go in with glue and all that stuff beforehand. Pretty sure I could. Oh, wait. Do I want to do liner first? Should I do liner first? Mm, no. I'm just going to try to not get to my... What was I saying? Yeah, I'm just going to keep going in with my glitter. I think I was thinking I was going to do my liner, but because I did it that way on the other eye, but I'm going to keep going because I already did it. I already started. <laughs> And if you guys see my camera shaking or my background moving, aka the flowers or the little uh, bamboo, bamboo sticks over there, it's my children. They were walking around. Alright, so I did my liner off camera um, and then I'm going to go back in with that dark brown uh, gold shimmer and finish up my eyelid. Really KP? You really going to scream right now? All right, now we're gonna use the NYX Jumbo Liner in Black Bean to line my lower waterline. Checking my workout, like it, did my face. All right, so I finished up the rest of my eyeliner, took my tape off. Now I'm going in with the color Black Magic from the palette and just, I wanted to say blurring out, that's not the word I'm looking for, smoking out my lower waterline. Because um, I know when I just use eyeliner, which I still do sometimes, when I just use eyeliner on my eye and I have a dramatic wing, it makes my eyes seem like off balance. They're not, the shape is just weird. So I have to make sure that I smoke out my eyes because, you know, I got these big bobble joints. <laughs> and I want to make sure they are symmetrical with the rest of my face. Checking myself out again. Y'all gotta check yourself out when you're doing your work, especially if you feel like you're looking good. And I was feeling myself, y'all. I was like, okay, I'm doing a good job here. So now I'm gonna go back in with FOTD um, and just put a little on the brush and use it on the bottom of Black Magic to kind of smoke out that uh, lash line. And uh, what was I saying? Yeah, smoke out the lash line so it's not so harsh. Now for some highlighter in my inner corner. I don't know if you guys have noticed because I have noticed because I go back and watch my videos sometimes. But um, sometimes my highlighter in my inner corner be overly dramatic. Um, I won't say trash um, because it's me, but it be overly dramatic um, because I be trying to overcompensate when I mess up. And putting too much highlighter so yeah I am learning that a little goes a long way and it's easier to build up than to take away now time for some mascara if you guys want to see my new foundation routine um, I may post that next week so stay tuned for that This is the IT um, Cosmetics Mascara. It's cute, it's not one of my favorites. It just dries really clumpy on my eyes, but for this purpose, it works just fine. And I think that is the last thing that I'm doing. Nope, I'm gonna go back in and fix my eyebrows. Cause I'm learning that my eyebrows should still be worked on until I am ready to spray my face down just to make sure that they are symmetrical and flow with my look because I must say my eyebrows are getting better a new eyebrow tutorial is coming so make sure you stay tuned for that if I haven't already posted it all right so I hope you guys enjoyed this look I think it came out really really pretty um I like how 
the sparkle is just enough not to overpower my eye because I feel like my eye shape just wouldn't handle a lot of sparkle really well. That's just me personally. Um, and as well as I don't really do a lot of sparkle. So this was just enough for me to handle and didn't make me feel uncomfortable uncomfortable um so let me got let me know let me i can't talk today let me know um what you guys think about this look as a whole give it a thumbs up or thumbs down make sure you keep it positive so um that's all i got for you guys today i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you guys next time love ya bye